puti na ang bote sa tambayan. Sumama na sa kwentuhan kasamang nag-iisang kamahalan. Because wow. DJ Queen will take the spin. Dito lamang yan sa Soju Talk, where everybody is in. Let's go. This is your radio, your station. Pinoy Soul Radio. You were back on the newest Disha on radio, a quick way of celebrating Friday night with me on air. This is your highness, DJ Queen. Ding, ding, ding. You were tuning in to Pinoy Soul Radio, and I have been charged to bring it to South Korea without having to catch a plane. All here at Soju Talk. Ding, ding, ding. Well, for tonight, mga kaibigan, please do prepare some teacher because we're about to enter our English-only policy program. Ding, ding, ding. Ayan, I hope that you have gained enough blood to sustain your bleeding from our previous episode last time. <laughs> Do you still remember when I brought you to Sari One Korean Barbecue Restaurant? <laughs> when I introduced you to an authentic Korean cuisine that you can try only here in the Philippines? <laughs> Ooh, Sari One will definitely bring, the, bring life those foods to the only scene in K-drama. <laughs> Do you still remember those tender beef? <laughs> Crispy pork? <laughs> Tasty chicken? <laughs> and mouth-watering stew that Mr. Michael De La Cruz have mentioned? <laughs> well, since I'm done fulfilling your tummy, it's time to take your bags and prepare your clothes because tonight is our trip to South Korea and introduce you to its best, superb, and shouldn't be missed to its destination. <laughs> Well, on your boarding, please fall in line and prepare your accounts and follow us on our social media platforms. For Facebook, it's PinoySoul.com. For Twitter and TikTok, it's at PinoySoul. And for Spotify, it's PinoySoul Radio. <laughs> Now, passengers, grab your soldiers and tweet your thoughts using our hashtag, hashtag K-Tourist. <laughs> Ayan. In three, two, one, are you done? Okay, now sit back and relax and we're going to the land of the morning calm, South Korea with the one and only Mr. Daniel Kim of HAB Korea. Ayan, good evening Sir Daniel. Welcome here at Soju Talk. Ayan, Sir Daniel, without further ado, because this... Your answer to this question will definitely enlighten a lot of our listeners. Sir Daniel, can you share with us why the South Korea is known as the land of the morning calm? Um, you know, it's traditionally Korean people have very, you know, we're kind of a con- conservative people who has mm-hmm. um, the, the Chinese uh, theory We're just calm, yeah. Mm-mm. So that's why it's called a land of a morning calm because most people of Co- most Koreans are usually calm. Is that right, sir? Yeah, I can. Mm-hmm. Ding, ding, ding. How about let's move on to your company, sir? Is that okay? What does H A B stands for? Uh, it stands for habitable. This English expression meaning have a good time or you know. Have a great time, something like that. Mm-hmm. So just using that word for our company name. So H A B Korea. I just mm-hmm. pronounce it as Hab Hab Korea. Ah, uh, it it should be pronounced as Hab Korea, not H A B Korea. Okay, thank you for correcting me. That's correcting me, sir. <laughs> And so, when was your company established, sir? Uh, I started this company uh, 2013. Mm, 2013. Actually, it's a lie. Yeah. Okay. I um just trying to make some uh, better tourist experience at the time. I s- it's really difficult because there are so many competitors in Korea, and most of the company trying to sell low uh, price uh, package. You know, so okay. pushing people, uh, the customers. Buying some compulsive shopping, something like that. So I don't like it. So I try to make it some 
free and easy、uh, tour package at the time. So I just keep going. In. So if yeah, if I'm correct, sir, no, if I'm correct for what I heard, you said you offer free travels. Um, I I don't mean free. I okay okay okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. No, uh, compulsive shopping. That means.、Uh, okay, so it's about the shopping. I I think.、Yeah. Okay, I'm so. We had a lot of Filipino、uh, clients before,、mm-hmm. and most of the company in the Philippines ask us、uh, lower price. Always, do you have any lower price package?、Mm-hmm. No, it, it's not possible because. We have to pay off our employee and other expenses, so yeah, that's what ding, ding, ding. everything started. Yeah. Okay, that's right, sir. That no, that we should always value the services of our employees because、mm-hmm. it's when you take good take good care of your employees, your employees will take care good care of your company. Is that right, sir? That's right. <laughs> So, how about can you share with us the goals、uh, and the vision of Hub Korea in the tourism industry? Your goals, your vision, sir.、Um, as you know, we have a tragic pandemic since nineteen twenty. We still have very difficult time because most of the tourism field in South Korea almost go bankrupt. Okay. And、uh-huh. still, there's many tourists. Is most of the country still have a lot of、uh, you know、um, borders are closed or it's still have a lot of difficulty when you travel overseas. So I think pandemic still keep going and we still need to hang out something like that.、Mm-hmm. Keep going, don't give up. Yeah. How about your vision, sir? What is your vision in your company? So we are、uh, slowly recover since、mm-hmm. those pandemic. So I'm thinking, I'm trying to make some new uh, travel uh, product, such as K-pop related package, and we actually are running K-pop camp. Okay. In, in my company, and、uh, those package, they're. Customers still coming, even though they're closing the,、uh, the border or、uh, pandemic. So that's one of our our reason is like trying to make different、um, package, yeah, new concept. It's like yes, new concept. Ding, ding, ding. So you mentioned that you were offering a lot of products and services. No, no. Can you name it, sir? The list of products and services or the opportunities you provide to your guest. What are the services and the opportunity that Hub Korea provide to its guests, sir, or to its consumers?、Uh, like I said,、uh, one of the best one is K-pop camp, and、okay. also we we do have、uh, travel snap photography package. We're、okay. just focusing on those small、um, area at the moment because we don't have many employee, most likely.、Okay. So. So, how can we join the K-pop camp, or what? What do you do、uh, inside the K-pop camp, sir? First, you should have enough money. <laughs> many, many,、uh, yeah, many people, you know, apply our camp, but、mm-hmm. nobody, nobody make payment yet. So, you should have enough money and get your visa, and yeah, that's it. It's very simple. Yeah. Okay. Since you've mentioned, sir, that we need to have money and visa, what、yeah. are the other documents, sir, we need to prepare to visit South、um, Korea? Probably travel insurance for your sake. Okay, travel insurance. Yeah. Do you offer, sir, travel insurance in your company too, or? We can do it, but it's、okay. very cheap. So most of the customer. Get their own、uh, travel insurance in in their own country.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, we just recommend it. You should so, have those. Yeah. Can you at least sir give us the perspective about the price range, about the budget of how much amount do we need to possess to visit South Korea, sir? 
like for example, um, traveling to South Korea for five days, how much uh, do you think? An estimate? Can you give us an estimate? Yeah, uh, maybe I just simply say in US dollars, mm-hmm. just hundred dollars per day, including accommodation. That's enough money to spend the whole day having all the uh, meals and transportation and some, you know, amusement. Yeah, probably one hundred dollars. That's enough. I was so okay. shocked to ha- per day one hundred dollars. No, yeah, yeah. That's I don't know if that's cheap of or it's that um that's, or if, if it's regular, an expensive. Yeah, regular, uh, medium range of travel. Mm-hmm. Cheaper. Uh, if you really try, fifty dollars. It's okay because there are really? many cheaper accommodations such as. Uh, guest house or dormitory mm-hmm. style, you know, that's only about twenty dollars to thirty dollars per day. Although you should have share your bed with other, uh, may- maybe strangers or sometime, but still, it's very cheap. And yes, meal cost is normally uh, ten dollars average. So average quality, per yeah, meal. Quality okay. meal. So fifty dollars. Per day is enough. If you go cheaper, okay, yeah. that's that's quite fascinating, sir. No. Yeah. How about do we need to learn to speak Korean first before we go before to visit South Korea, or uh, there is is there any briefing at the at the airport, sir? Just simple or not words all? should be welcome, just like a, a greeting, like 안녕하세요 or mm-hmm. Most Korean people very happy when when we hear any any simple korean word from foreign tourists okay can you teach me some basic korean word what is what did you said earlier sir kasamnida uh kamsahamnida kamsahamnida it means maraming salamat po the same meaning so you speak filipino sir have you ever been here in the philippines Tagalog, yeah Mm. So, kasahamnida for thank, for thank, thank you, you or salamat. Or salamat, you. Yeah. How about your welcome, sir? Can you uh, um? You're welcome. How do you say it in uh, it's Korean? Pronounce is chomaneo. Chomaneo. I'm brain pronouncing it right. It's chomaneo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, chom-maneo. can I put it into sentence, sir? Mm-hmm. The Korean um, word that you just taught me. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, sir. Ha? So, kasaham nida, Mr. Daniel Kim, for your time. Ayan. Did I did I pronounce it? Did I use it right? Yeah, yeah. I can understand. So, <laughs> <laughs> do you think I'm a fast learner, sir? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. How about can you um? How about um? Help me. How do you say it in Korean? For example, well, I was lost in the city, so yeah, yeah. I should be probably asking for some help, right? So how about help me? How do you, you say it in Korean? Do-wa-ju-se-yo. 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 Do-do. Do-wa-ju-se-yo. Do-do. Do-wa-ju-se-yo. Do-wa-ju-se-yo. Or just, uh, uh, we should say, excuse me first, so, Chogyo. Chogyo. In Tokyo, like calling out people, Tokyo, Tojon to watch, she It's more a uh, polite way. Tojon okay. means, can you help me? Yeah. Tojon to watch, she Okay. Can you, um, can you, um, say it slowly, sir, so that I can follow? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cho. Tokyo. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, Tokyo. Tokyo. Okay. When and you then, say Tokyo, there's okay. someone uh see you and what? Something like that. And Okay. Now you can say Tojum Okay. Let me just try it, sir. For example, I was about to call you. So Chogo say uh Chogo Chogyo Sir Daniel Varagadunfo. Is that right? Chogyo Sir Daniel. 
It's like I'm calling your attention. Chogio. Ah, Chogio. Chogio. I'm so sorry. We don't use English in Korea, so. Uh, okay, so just Chogio. You know? Yeah. Okay. Probably I'm just I'll just stick with the Chogio and then just yeah. sign language the next follow the following yeah, actions that I want. And uh, show your smartphone and uh. Mm-hmm. I mean, in the app or something, it's easier because it's quite difficult to all sentence. Okay. Yeah, it's not easy. Yeah. Well, Korean words are so um, I know, beautiful to speak, huh? Yeah, alphabet is very easy to learn, but speaking mm-hmm. is quite difficult. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It fascinates me to say those words like It's like I'm. It's like I'm a princess. <laughs> Probably heard a lot of words from K drama. K drama, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, I feel like uh, I'm a princess when I say it. <laughs> How about, sir? Can you help me with the word um, "I love you"? How do you say it in Korean? Saranghaeyo. Saranghaeyo. Hmm. Uh, is it uh, apa kaba in in Tagalog? Ah, uh, mahal kita uh, in mahal Tagalog. Kita. Ah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> It's mahal kita in Tagalog. Okay. So for thank you, it's kasamnida, mm-hmm. and for Filipino, it's um salamat po. Salamat po. Mm-hmm. And ma- then po. okay. And then for help me, it's choyo. Chogio. Ah, chogio. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing it right. I'm doing it right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. for sure. for I love you, it's kasamnida. Ay. No, no. Saranghayo. Thank you. I'm so sorry. It got me confused, sir. So thank you for your patience to on helping me for to learn basic language. What else um should I learn aside from thank you, help me, and I love? You? What do you think? Yeah, yeah, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, you guys, you guys, you um get happy whenever you heard someone yeah. from foreign country heard um said those. We're, we're I know. Generous people. Oh. <laughs> Koreans are very welcoming, huh? So, yeah. Mm-mm, thank you so much. How about um, where is the store? store? How can you say it in or store? How can you say it in um Korean store? 가게가 어디 있어요? 아 가게 means store. Okay, 가게. Store is 가게. 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 Okay. 가게가 어디 있어요? Okay. Um, what last, sir? Can you repeat more, it in slowly? It's more um difficult way. Uh, we just say, 저기요, 가게 어디인지 좀 얘기해 줄수 있어요? It's, it's more politely, uh, yeah, common. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's it's kind of hard to yeah. um to learn Korean at first, no? Because mm-hmm. it's usually long, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So a lot maybe of variation. Mm-hmm. Or there's a lot of variation, so it's really difficult when you heard. Ding, ding, ding. But I'm so grateful, sir, that you have patience to help me you know to learn those basic words. So maybe let's just talk about the tourist and the tourist um tourist destination since um you have helped me enough to learn the basic ones so maybe let's just um may i just ask your perspective about what is the best season that you recommend to visit south korea sir yeah many customers actually ask me about those questions mm-hmm. which season is the best but you know korea has clear four seasons spring summer winter uh, uh fall and winter so I can say every every season is the best. It's, okay. If you uh, like to see some cold weather, is when winter is the best. But if okay. you don't like the cold weather, but just wanna say it's very comfortable, uh, you know, whether it's spring is better. Or if you wanna see some pink muley or um, golden porridge in the tree. It's fall is the best season, which is now. Yeah. Wow. Over to uh, November is the best for the golden uh, trees and everything is turned yellow and 
Nah, yeah. So it's the best. If you so like what, it. So what is your most recommended place to visit during winter, sir? Uh, during the winter? Yes, sir. Um, for me, I'm just stay at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just warm and, yeah. But as a tourist, maybe uh, visiting Ski Resort is very close to the Seoul city. So yeah, probably one of those Ski Resort. What is the usually um what is the lowest degree um temperature degree that South Korea reach during winter sir? Oh, you lowest you, degree. Yeah, you can't expect it what I say. It's mm-hmm. low 20. 20 or negative Celsius. 20 sir. Yeah. Celsius minus 20, 20. 20 Celsius. Uh Ooh. January to uh February one of the most coldest season in in in, in the year. So sometimes going down to uh, below minus 10 or minus 20, some area, it's like uh, you can't imagine how it goes. Yeah. Yes, that's so old. Probably I'll be wearing five jackets for that, sir. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you should have some warmer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does it usually have snow during um during winter, sir, in mm-hmm. South Korea? Um, but always, it's normally started uh, middle of November. November. Our first snow every mm. November, in the middle of November. And uh, most of the snow in the uh, December to February. Yeah. Okay. So, over, uh, over 10 times per year in this area. Mm, I'm just imagining that negative 10 degrees that was so cold na. I, I, I mean, I can't imagine myself. Probably I'll be staying home like you, sir. <laughs> it's actually okay when it's snow. Mm-hmm. It's not that very cold. It's just like a minus one or two. Yeah. See cold, but it's better than minus 20. So. <laughs> um, oh, of okay. course. How about what is your most recommended um, place during summer, sir? Summer, um, in my case, some uh, some beach in the east, mm-hmm. or where uh, we can go to some uh, hiking on the mountain. Whoa! Speaking of mountains, sir, since you have brought it, is there any famous mountain or highest mountain in South Korea that? should be added on the bucket list of a mountaineer? Uh, if you really try to, uh, you know, if you are really a adventurous person, you can yes. go to Jeju Island. It's mm-hmm. over, I can't remember exact height, but over 2,000 meters. Oh. Yeah, that, yes, that's sir. Of the highest mountain in South Korea. But the other mountains are normally uh, between 1,000 to lower than 2,000 Something, yeah, between that high. Okay. Oh, still, yeah. Well, actually, sir, one thousand meters is still high. It's a, yeah. it's it takes a lot. Um, it takes a whole day, I guess, to climb yeah. because wow. I'm also a mountaineer, so sir. That should probably be on my bucket list too. But mm-hmm. you have mentioned, sir. <laughs> yeah. How, yeah. How about, sir? Um, during fall, what is your most recommended place during fall? Fall season or autumn season? Oh, Nami Island. Nami Island. Wait. Where the uh, yellow ginkgo trees. And mm-hmm. uh, I, I remember uh, one of the Finoi films was actually made it at that uh, Nami Island. What is it? My Love? Something? I can't remember. What was that? Uh, one second. I just want to Google it. Yeah, sure, sir. Just take your time. <laughs> What can we what can we find in Namiana? Um, Nami is different. Nami Nami ha- Nami Island. Nami Highland. Island. Island. Okay. Yeah, what can yeah. we find in Nami Island? <laughs> oh yeah, my X and Y. That's the Pinoy movie. Oh. Yeah. My okay. X and Ys. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, I'm a familiar with that movie, sir. Yeah. Is it correct, Kathy? Catherine Bernardo, sir. 
Yeah, yeah. So uh, yes. Okay. They, they, uh, make their film in Nami Island. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So in Nami Island, we can find a yellow green, um, yellow um, trees and yellow trees. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's very uh, natural and peaceful actually. So in the uh, fall season, that is one of my favorite place to go. It's about uh, one hour and thirty minutes from Seoul. Yeah. How about for the most awaited festival or celebration that you can uh, that the tourist must witness or experience in South Korea? In a year? Yes, sir. In a year. Like, oh, can yeah. you give me at least um what, at least two events or two festivals that you celebrate in South Korea that we should um witness when we visit South Korea? Uh, as a tourist, um, I like some flower festival in spring so you can see Ooh. cherry blossom all over the place and any other uh spring flowers all of the uh bloom all over the place so that's one of my favorite festival cherry blossom festival yeah it's normally mm. start early april to middle of april in in south korea mm, i see so, yeah. Yeah. Well, here in the Philippines, we also have that kind of um, flower festival, or it's the harvest season, where mm -hmm. you can find it in Baguio, if you're familiar, sir. Oh. It's called the Panagbenga Festival, yes. Mm. It's it's usually held on February, February. every February of the year, yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe when you tried, when you came back here in the Philippines, you should visit that, Um, you should witness that kind yeah, of festival, because it was very colorful, sir, yes. Mm. Okay. <laughs> So, how about sir, the um, beaches? Can you recommend um, the beaches in South Korea that we shouldn't miss? Um, maybe Busan area. Hyundai. Busan area? Hyundai, yeah. Oh, That's one okay. of the popular, most popular beach all over the Korea. It's actually made from movie before. Mm. Have you ever, uh, uh, train to Busan? Yes, I yeah. watched Train to Busan. One of the most famous beach in Busan area. Is mm -hmm. What are the water adventures we can experience or we can try on that beach, sir? Actually, um, compared to the Philippines, mm -hmm. you're better activity, with, uh, summer activity, because you're always summer. So I can't say anything better than Philippines in Korea. <laughs> Just normal, because we only have two months in, in the mm -hmm. summer. In, in mm -hmm. Korea, so. It's just the uh, same as yours, just some banana boat or some paragliding. Mm -mm. Yeah, you already know everything. Yeah. Mm. So, With eating and, uh, you know, Korean food and uh, chimek, you know, chimek, chicken and beer in Korean. Oh, okay. Yeah. How, how do you pronounce it, sir? Chimek? Chimek. Chimek. It's yeah. the chicken and the chicken beer. Or chimek is uh, actually. We call it beer in Korea, baekju. So baekju beer, so chicken and baekju, and compared to, uh, it stand for chimek. Okay, chimek. so that is the best food um, we need to bring whenever we go to the beach, yes, sir, is that right? Many Koreans enjoy chimek. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. How about um? Let's move on to my favorite, I uh, know, favorite topic, which is the food stuff. Can you recommend any street food or food bazaar or probably anything where I can stop to eat to eat um Korean street food or exotic uh, food? Yeah, as I'm a uh, personal experience, many foreign tourists uh, first see uh, live octopus when they see live oct octopus. They are shocked, but we, we love it. We love to eat. And uh, one of the most favorite Korean street food is actually um, takoki, takoki, and what is that? And odeng, a fish cake on the on the soup. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That that's the most famous street food in Korea. Um, can I find that tteokbokki in any places or street any in place, Korea? Any place in even North Ooh. Korea can find it. Ooh. Or any place Korean live, even in the Philippines, you can find it. Tteokbokki. 
Topoki I love Topoki So what's the ingredients of Topoki sir? Can you uh, um, share it with uh, us? Lice cake It's like a finger sized lice cake And some Korean chili sauce And some fish cake Together and some stock sauce um, Mixed together So it mm. makes very um, good flavor when you specify those um, ingredients, I get hungry. <laughs> I want to oh. try that. Ano? I want to try that. That delicacies of yours. How about do you have any exotic food, sir? Um, you said, sir, you have been here in the Philippines. Have you tried um, balot? Somebody asked me to eat it, but I can because I heard what made of balot. It's <laughs> like a chicken. Uh, is 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 chicken embryo? Yeah. Duck embryo. <laughs> oh, I can. I can. I, I <laughs> eat it. Maybe um, in the future, very drunk, I may try, but <laughs> yeah, not yet. <laughs> How about the exotic food in South Korea? Do you have anything like balot or uh, anything exotic? Not like it, but I already said that is live octopus. That's one of the exotic food for foreign tourists. And mm -hmm. um, we also eat uh, sick worm. Uh, how can I say in uh, English? Um... Just take your time, sir. <laughs> because I am still processing those um, like, live uh, octopus mm -hmm. that you eat there in ano. I yeah. want to try it someday. Eat a live octopus. Yeah. Like, That's actually what very does it nice, but mm -hmm. it's still moving. It's chopped it up, chopped it up, but it's still moving. So, first, so it is very shocking. It is moving and we're eating, still moving inside of your mouth. Wow. Yeah. How how does it taste, sir? Is it slimy or Oh, it's like chewy and tasty. Chewy and tasty. Taste. Yeah. Mm. So since we're talking now about the food, may I ask, sir, what is your favorite Korean food and why? Oh my favorite. It's That's like you have plenty in your mind, sir. <laughs> what? 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 I always say just one Korean food. I can say kimchi chile. Soul food for Korean. Do you know kimchi? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm it's, kind of yeah, familiar so with the kimchi. We, we make it through a uh, stew. We call it kimchi chige. It's kimchi, pretty, chi. uh, kimchi and some pork and some other uh, chili sauce and mixed together and boiled it. And some tofu inside. So it's very tasty and yeah, it's Korean soul food. I hope that someday I will, I will be able to try those you food you've you mentioned. Can find the kimchi chige right away. Where is Makati, sir? Makati. Wow. You can find it. Those old Korean food in there. It's a little mm. bit expensive, but still you can try if you really want. It's about Maybe. 700 pesos, I guess. Yeah. Maybe soon, sir. I will definitely try those food. And of course, those, those live octopus that you've mentioned. I'm so curious. What does it taste like? Is it yummy? Is it... Mm -mm. So how about, sir, the products or the souvenirs that the tourists should buy whenever they go to trip to South Korea? Many foreign tourists, actually, I, I don't know why, but uh, many foreign tourists buy socks in Korea. I don't socks? know what. Yeah, socks. <laughs> you know, wearing on the foot socks. Because there are many uh, characters on, on Korean socks. I don't know, but many foreign tourists buy socks. And also, some of the um, tourists, still many tourists, buy ginseng, of course. Ginseng? Ginseng and cosmetics product for women. Ooh. Korean cosmetic is very, uh, it, it, it's high quality, so... Yes, it's also quite popular here in the Philippines, your yeah. products. Yeah. Like, whenever they are using Korean products, they, their skin makes really glowing, right? So, who does to that, I know. I don't make up, so I don't really don't know. But I haven't... women like Korean cosmetic product. Mm-mm. Like how about sir the charm? Um, in South Korea, is there um? Do you have any lucky charm? 
or should be, but I I don't know. As far as I know, I don't have any kind of charm. So it's I... more on the socks and the I know the Korean um cosmetic products. Yeah, that the tourists usually buy. Also seaweed. Try seaweed. There's seaweed? many foreign tourists. Yeah. What is seaweed, sir? Uh, it's it's we call it kim. Um, it's like a black color. How can I say? It's seaweed. Dry seaweed. It's like ah, a, seaweed. Yeah, yeah, seaweed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I actually, actually tried um have Korean seaweed. Yes, I actually tried um one from my friend before, and it yeah. it tastes good whenever it 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 is combined with a rice. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Lap around and eat it. Mm -hmm. And I also watched it from a K-drama that most of them um combine it with the rice and the mm -hmm. meat and the seaweed. Yeah. No. Using chopstick. Yeah. It has. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, honestly, sir, I am not really a fan, or I am not really a fan of K-pop or a K-drama, but. I'm watching sometimes, mm -hmm. but me thinking about traveling to South Korea since I am an adventurous myself, okay. it really accelerates me. Like I do traveling, I do personally, sir, I do traveling, but only here in the Philippines <laughs> because um, I'm still a student, so <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't have that enough enough money to go outside the country. But it really accelerates me because I don't, you know, like South Korea has so much something to offer because as far as I see, I saw on the um, on the K drama. Usually, you guys um, balances the nature and the modor and the modernity, right? So your country has so much so much to offer to its tourist to its tourists when it comes to um, tourist destination, when it comes to your events, your festival, and of course the food. Come on, sir! Like your food is so tasty, right? <laughs> but, it was a really fun and knowledgeable discussion, Sir Daniel. Did you have fun? Yeah, yeah, I enjoy. Did you enjoy um teaching me how to speak Korean? <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that I, you. I remember now. Uh, did you remember the? Mahal kita. Mahal kita. Sarang heyo to sir. Are you? Yes. The, is it right? Sarang heyo is the eleven, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sarang. So, sarang heyo to sir. <laughs> but before on we go to our next itinerary, may I please check our passengers if you have followed us on our social media platforms. For Facebook, it's PinoySoul.com. For Twitter and TikTok, it's at PinoySoul. For YouTube, it's PinoySoul. And for Spotify, it's PinoySoul Radio. <laughs> Earlier, we have discussed things that we need to know to prepare. To know and prepare places to visit to visit and of course the souvenirs that we must have in South Korea. But now we will be playing a game with Sir Daniel and it is called the Fast Talk. <laughs> Are you ready, sir, to play a game with me? <laughs> so this game, sir, is just very simple. So I will just throw you a question and you will just say anything that comes out to your mind. Probably, okay. maybe share something about it, about your answer later on. So, I will just throw you a question again, and then you will just um, state anything that comes out to your mind. Okay? Are you ready, yes. sir? Yeah. Ready. Okay. So, for our first question, sir. Is it sunrise or sunset? What do you prefer most? Do you, do you prefer sunrise or do you prefer sunset? Sunset. Sunset, okay. Um, how about garden or beach, sir? Beach. Beach. Oh, so you are a beach person, sir, huh? No. Okay. So, what is the one word that describes South Korea for you? K-pop. K-pop. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, I think you were a fan too, sir. Maybe we'll talk about that later. How about name a place that that would tell something about Koreans? One place that would tell something about Koreans. Uh, BTS. BTS. Oh. BTS. 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 Bangtan Sonyeondan. Oh, I think you were a fan, sir. <laughs> How about what is the best trait of a Korean? Best trait, character of a Korean. Um. Like for us, Filipinos are known for being hospitable, something like that. So, or oh? we are. Proud? Proud. Yeah. So most Koreans are proud. Of yeah. course, 
There's something to be proud of being Korean. Mm -hmm. How about sir, the local norms? Um, what are the local norms? Local norms that Koreans are known for. Um, Korean people think they are unhappy. They are unhappy. Unhappy. They look happy. Mm. They're more yeah, like so competitive. So it's like uh, everybody think they are unhappy nowadays. Mm -mm. Yeah. Like how about what is how many seasons does Korean have, sir? Like you have mentioned it, I think earlier. <laughs> but let's just um, ask this question: What is um, how many seasons does South Korea have, sir? Four seasons. Four seasons. That is the summer, right, sir? Summer, winter, mm, fall. spring, summer, fall, okay. and winter. Oh, okay. So, what is your favorite season of the year? Um, fall season, which is now, is my favorite. Oh. Really? Yeah. How about what is your favorite food during summer, sir? Summer. Yes, sir. Uh, halo halo. Really? Do you have halo halo there in? I uh, know. We don't there have. In... We just have have... style. Yeah. Ooh. Holy poppings. I haven't heard any halo halo Korean style. Maybe I should try that one. <laughs> um, different ingredients. Mm. How about sir? Um, favorite um food during winter. Um, kimchi chicken. It's it's hot and stew with kimchi and pork. Yeah. Yes. How about sir? Your favorite color. Color blue. Blue. Color is blue. Even though I'm wearing black today, but blue color. <laughs> Actually, that question, sir, is really relevant. But I just want to know what's your favorite color. <laughs> How about what is your favorite street food? Street food. Ah, uh, tteokbokki. Tteokbokki. Mm -hmm. How about um? This is for the bravest ones who want to try the and who want to be um explorative or adventurous. What is the most haunted place in South Korea, sir? Haunted place. Mm -hmm. Because Koreans are known oh, for producing scary uh, movies. Yeah, called it. Um, I I don't remember. Some somewhere in the Gyeonggi area, there's abandoned uh hospital. Is is most haunted. Some YouTubers trying to explore that place. I heard, it's a rumor that some some people are just vanish and never come back. I don't really? understand because I, I never go there. Some such a haunted place like that. So yeah. So um, may I repeat, sir? That is the hospital, right? Hospital, abandoned hospital. Abandoned, abandoned hospital. hospital. Yeah. Where can we find that abandoned hospital, sir? Mm -hmm. Uh, it's called. Uh, I I can't remember. Is is um ah Onjian, Onjian, name of the hospital. Oh, haunted place. One of the uh, most popular. Most popular haunted popular destination. Haunted destination is active now. Oh, how about um Korean folklore or mythical creatures, sir? Uh, it's about 5,000 years old story which uh, originated South Korea. It's Dangun story. One of the uh, yeah, origin of Korean people. Dangun. Dangun stories. I haven't heard that. Maybe soon maybe soon I will um try to read some yes. of your of these um stories. How about sir the ideal place to propose a marriage in Korea? Where is the ideal place to propose a marriage in Korea? Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe in a cruise ship or fancy restaurant. Most of Korean or K drama. Yeah. So you are very romantic, sir, huh? Yeah, yeah. Some <laughs> cruise or some fancy restaurant and uh, with the wings. You know, yeah. How about sir the um um what is the best place or church to have a wedding? 
for a wedding in South Korea? Um, no, I mean, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a um, actual religious person, so、oh. never thought marriage in a church anywhere. Most、okay. of the people were、um, having their wedding in a hotel in South in Korea. In hotel in hotel. South Korea. Hotel, so, hotel conference room,、uh, hotel event room. Yeah. What is the famous、oh, hotel sir, in South Korea? Maybe、uh, Hotel Shella, or yeah, that's the first thing come up to my mind. Shella.、Mm. How about your favorite place sir, in South Korea? My home. My oh, your home. Yeah, that's my favorite place. Are you staying in Seoul, sir? Yeah. Oh, you're staying in Seoul, and sir,、so, this is for this is for the last, sir. Um, mm-hmm. I am Korean, therefore I am. I am speaking Korean. <laughs> so I am Korean, therefore I am speaking Korean. That is very witty of you, sir. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Would you like to say anything, sir, before we、um, close this um program? Ah,、uh, it was fun and、uh, nice to see you and talk to you, everybody, and yeah. Thank you for this experience. And thank you so much, Sir Daniel Kim, for having your time and playing along with us. Did you have fun again, Sir? Yeah, yeah. This is my <laughs> place,、uh, my office, actually. Oh, so you're giving us a little room tour about your place on your place, Sir?、Mm-mm. Are you alone, Sir? Yeah, everybody's out, so I'm free. Okay, so well, sir, thank you, and I'm hoping that anytime soon I can visit your precious、um, country, which is South Korea. Um, is there anything, sir, that you would like to say to our KB? Like, for example, um, where can they send their message to you, or their inquiry, or to book for your services for your comp on your company? Um, just visit our website, and、um, everything there. So you can just let them know our website. Okay.、Um, good. Yeah. So, if you want to go, if you want to send some message or inquiry to Hub Korea, just go to Hub Korea dot net. And for Facebook, sir, what is your Hub Korea? H A B Korea. H A B Korea. Okay. 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 So I will just repeat it、um, for our listeners. So if you wanna visit South Korea, please choose Hub Korea because they offer a lot of services that will definitely provide your you to your satisfaction. And go to your go to their website, which is habkorea dot net. And for their Facebook, it's just habkorea, sir, right?、Yeah. And do you have um Instagram, sir? Yeah, same habkorea. Okay,、yeah. if you want to um if you want to send your inquiry through their Instagram account, you can also um type just habkorea. Ayan, and thank you so much, sir, for your time for tonight. And that's a wrap for tonight. I would like to thank everyone who stayed up until the end of our program. Well, technically, this is my final goodbye. Cause tonight, well, tonight is our last airing for Soldier Talk.、Aww. Surely, I will miss our kwentuhan, mga kibigan, and for the rest of the team for your collective efforts to make this happen, and of course to our technical director for tonight, Miss Ro Anipunan. Thank you, thank you so much. Abangan sa susunod na linggo ang kwento ng buhay at pangarap kasama si na DJ RV at DJ Bay sa Dear Opa, Dear Luna. At para naman sa mga business tips with your one and only DJ Bay. Again, this is a quick way of celebrating Friday night with me on air. I am Your Highness, DJ Queen. Stay hydrated, everyone. This is your radio, your station, Pinoy Soul Radio.